Namaste. My name is Vivekanand. This is a short tutorial video explaining basics of Hangout on Air, popularly known as HOA. Here's a mind map of the basics of HOA. Don't worry if it looks very sophisticated. I'm here to simplify. I shall do that by zooming in on each branch and explain. I have zoomed into the first branch. For a good experience while doing a HOA, you need a fast computing device. Maybe an Apple, a Windows, or a Linux computer. Pad devices such as iPad or Android Pad. Even iPhone or Android phone, which has fast internet access. These are the computing devices that can be used. The key is the device itself needs to be fast and should have fast internet access. Next requirement is Ethernet. It's highly recommended that you use a wired network to connect to the internet while you are participating or hosting a HOA. Wireless is no good. If you use a Wi-Fi to connect to the internet, then most likely you would have a bad experience. You would probably drop out frequently. Your video or even your voice may not be clear to others in the HOA. Why? Because HOA needs fast internet access and is actually the upload speed which is a bottleneck in most cases. Upload, not download. Remember, Wi-Fi gives bad experience for your HOA. Avoid using it if you can. Next, you need a decent pair of external speakers or headphones. Because if you try to use the built-in speakers on your device, everyone in the HOA will hear an echo and your device then tries to cancel the echo, which would put unnecessary stress on your computing device. You may not really like wearing a headset, but you should better do it. Because echo will create unnecessary stress, not just for you, but for your computing device as well. Why needlessly stress yourself? use a decent pair of headphones. In a HOA, you want your audience to hear only your voice and not the sounds from wherever you are. If you don't use an external microphone and there is something else going on in the location where you are, then you are causing distraction to everyone else in the HOA and it would be rude on your part. It is also po politeness and courtesy to mute your own microphone whenever you are not speaking and don't want to distract others. For example, you may have to cough or sneeze or something similar. It would be rude on your part if you don't behave properly. You also need to light up your own face properly. Help the camera you use so that it helps your self-image. The light, which may be natural or artificial, has to be up from below your eye level. This gets rid of those bags under your eyes. If you wear glasses or specs, it's better if you have anti-glare coating on them to avoid reflection because when light reflects off your specs it reduces eye-to-eye -eye communication which is so important in communication. 
Please note that any source of light behind you would force the webcam to adjust itself. This will put extra computing burden on your device if you are not careful. I have carefully selected very dark colors on the slides to show on this monitor behind me. When you use HOAs for business purposes, you know the brand is important. So you need to use what is known as the lower third or better still use what is known as custom overlay which is what I'm using. Two choices for branding your HOAs properly. To improve the video quality you should use an external webcam. A good external webcam would do a lot of video processing within itself and this reduces stress on computing device that you use. Proper webcams have with video signal compression hardware within them which improves the quality of video in your HOA. As I said before, in communication with another human, eye-to-eye -eye contact is very important. So you should always look at the webcam directly when you talk. You need to watch the background that you webcam sees. Whatever the webcam sees will be seen by the audience. To maintain eye contact, you should make it a practice to look in the general direction of the webcam. On a computer, this is easily done by reducing the size of the video window to about 2 or 3 inches and placing this window very close to where the webcam is. Of course, this would rule out the possibility of using comment tracker. But if you're not using comment tracker, all right, let's say that you have now started your own HOA series and you think that it would be great if you have a guest on your show. You need to consider three main things. You need to have a checklist of what you expect from the guest, how much time and when. You need to communicate this to your guest obviously. You need to make sure that the guest is relevant to your show and would add value to your show. Most important is you need to think in terms of what's in it for the guest to appear on your show. Only when you have good answers to these three questions you can think of a guest. Remember that you have to make sure that your guest feels comfortable, is aware of what is expected how everything works, especially how to mute and unmute their microphone and camera, etc. As a host, it would be your responsibility. Whatever your guests say or do, it will be recorded on your YouTube channel and so it will be all your responsibility. Thank you for watching this short video. Do please share the link to this video on Google Plus, YouTube and so on. You can reach me through my Google Plus profile or through my website wake-technology.com to learn more. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Integrate, simplify life.